Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Vinyl Addict, and today I'm going to talk about the new Dio album, which was released yesterday, and it's a remix by Joe Baresi of um, uh, remixing Holy Diver. Now, uh, first off, <clears throat> um, this is not to say which one is better, the old original version or this version. Um, the material is the same. It's just a different listening experience. Um, now, some bands have, re you know, taken their old albums and remixed them, or someone's come in and remixed them, and um, the end result was way better. Uh, take example, Pearl Jam's uh, 10, which I wasn't a real, uh, it wasn't really my favorite. I liked Versus, the second album, better. Um, but then after hearing the remix, uh, it was just like, wow, this rocks, you know. Um, he came in there and, you know, uh, removed certain things, you know, some reverb off the bass or whatever, you know, and put the guitars up in the front. And uh, it rocked. Rush did the same with Vapor Trails and um, the Beatles. They, they also, they did Let It Be, Let It Be Naked, taking away the strings and just, you know, giving the fans a different experience, different... Uh, uh, listening experience and that's what this one is you know um, and the thing that I could say about this is just um, first off the, the the thing that really shines on this album is the guitar um, Vivian Campbell's playing is amazing um, but I guess in the, the first original mix doesn't really give him justice and this one, I mean, the guitar sounds so bright and it's up in the front. Um, also, the drums and the bass, you know, they're more prevalent in, in the, uh, this new mix. And one thing is, um, it sounds like you're in a studio with them and they're just like jamming out these songs, you know, and then each song has like a big finish at the end, you know, whereas on the original album, the songs would fade out while they're just, you know, playing, jamming out, you know, you know, fade out. This one, it doesn't do that. It sounds like, you know, um, <clears throat> they come to a big, you know, big, big finish. And so the, the songs are extended, you know, and there's also in the beginning of some songs, you, you hear a four count, one, two, three, four. So you're just like in there with, with the band. You know, and, and a lot of tracks do that. Um, and I know that Dio was more um, uh, for, you know, for listening to his albums is, is, is like an escape. And he's all about fantasy and everything. And so you don't really get to hear these little, you know, um, four counts or count offs. You know, it was just this is going to be, you know, some kind of. Um, medieval thing and you're going to be transformed and transfixed in that you don't want he doesn't you know want anything to do with um, how a, how a, a song is recorded or anything like that you're just kind of transfixed that way but this version is just like you're going to hear the band you know and um, which is cool you know and and it kind of makes me think after hearing this about um you know, when Dio was with Black Sabbath and uh, the controversy of him and Vinny Apice, uh, Vinny Apice, who's uh, in, in this album, they went in and um, turned up the guitar, uh, turned up the, the drums and the vocals up loud and, you know, turned down the guitar and bass. And then, you know, those two guys, Geezer and Tony, would come in and turn down his vocals and you know so that, that that whole story was out there and it turned out you know in Dio's uh, defense that the engineer was just a drunk you know and uh, he was trying to pit them against each other or something like that um, create internal you know um, um, disruption or chaos you know but after hearing this you know and then hearing the old original version it seems like everyone is yeah of course backing Dio and Dio would always say Dio is a band it's not a solo um, uh, 
outfit. You know, it, Dio is, is a is a band, and um, you know because usually when guitars are like really up up in front or even well vocals, we'll, we'll say Dio's vocals is up in front, and then when the lead comes in and you know from the back and he, to me it, it, it's sort of like the, the the guitar comes in and takes the the, the place of the the lead vocalist and, and it's just as loud and you know here's my time to shine and here we go um the original mix you don't I, I don't i didn't hear that with vivian it was sort of like he was still just in the background while he's playing his leads and um in this one yeah it's just like let's bring him out there on his lead solo and just like let him shine and there's also some things where you know you hear underneath um like Dio's um, vocal melodies in, in the verse, you know, you, you'll hear um, Vivian still playing something, like picking these notes that are really cool and and um, kind of just like doing, you know, just um, really cool, whether it's just um, uh, pinch harmonics or something that more more prevalent and, and, and um, you could real more pronounced and you could hear these things that he's doing harmonics or on on like um shame on the night you know while while he, um it, he's not just faded out like on the original one you, you hear him you know playing some parts that the guy just like kept his guitars going you know whether he's coming off a lead and going back into the verse uh where dio's singing he's he's still there playing he's not just faded out you know and, and what he's brings to the song is really cool and that's why, why I feel like okay well Dio was just like well just fade him out and then here's me again but um and you know I guess that that comes from like being around a, a Tony Iommi and a, a Richie Blackmore that you know now that he's at the helm of everything it's like screw that you know um and I think it, it because of that um not that the, the music suffered you know that was Dio's vision you know, um, but sometimes it takes somebody outside to come in and um, and look at all the components, all the different uh, parts, and w without a, um, a a bias kind of um, uh, you know take on on the material. It's just like okay, well, let's just bring this up and like you know, and 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 then for the end result was like for the greater good, you know. I'm not, I'm not saying that perhaps Dio was, you know, just like, um, you know, keeping everyone oppressed and, you know, this is the Dio show, but, um, hearing this, it kind of makes you think or made me think like, okay, wow. You know, it's just like, this is so, um, the, the band is so powerful. It sounds so much more powerful and, um, um, hopefully they will do more of these, you know like last in line or you know and um there's an extra song on here evil eyes which was um on the second album and for some odd reason like it's a it's it was a b-side here so i guess it goes back you know to that time and he just you know put it on the second album but it's not remixed by the guy who did this whole album and so Here's the original. They also changed, of course, the, the album cover. Here's the original one. And the back. And this is a gatefold, so. Um, but overall, I guess, um, I, I would have to say that I'll be listening to this one more. You know, it, it's just, um, it, it's sort of just like, I, I guess the only way I can explain it is sort of like um, when George Lucas put out those Star Wars special editions in the late 90s and we went to go see uh, the new improved or the, the way it should have been. Uh, Star Wars and then there were some scenes that that came on there like whoa, that's cool, you know, or um, um, 
you just can't, I can't unwatch it anymore that way. You know what I mean? It's sort of just like, you know, they put out that version and they stop making the old ones. But of course, some people are just going to be like, well, you know what? I want to hear the original Dio album. That's the way it should sound. Uh, whereas, you know, I want to hear the new one. People will just start listening to this one more. Um, just like the Star Wars movies. I just rather watch the way that, you know, he added all those other things. There's some things on here that, that, that are not on the original one that I think are really cool. You know, um, not to say that that version is bad or anything. It's just that, you know what, it's, it's a, it's a experience that, um, it, it's a classic album made more timeless and more better. You know, um, like, like, the, like I mentioned the Pearl Jam album. I pretty much listened to Redo. I never listened to that original Pearl Jam version. It's just like, it just sounds tired, you know, and same with this one this this album has so much energy into it now there's more punch into this this mix you know um and so that's my final thoughts on this uh album is just you know go check it out yourself comment below um what do you think you know um you prefer the original or it's not like in a new improved it's just you know a different experience a different expression you know um I, I like it. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.